Before this robot can drive safely on the moon, it's undergoing test drives on Earth inside the NASA Ames Research Center in Silicon Valley. Viper, short for Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, is basically a water hunting robot. We want to put people on the moon, we want to build a lunar base on the moon, and if we can, if we can use water that's already there, we don't have to bring it up there with us. This prototype moves one centimeter per second and is designed for Earth's gravity, so it weighs one sixth of the actual rover, which weighs half a ton. Engineers are testing its ability to descend from a ramp on a lunar lander. Starting at the, the top of the lander there, driving down and ensuring that we can get down safely. Astrobotics Griffin Lander will transfer Viper to the moon's surface. The final flight build actually has two ramps on either side of Griffin so that Viper can see which ramp it might egress or exit safely off of once it gets to the lunar surface. Viper's mission is to explore the moon's south pole. It will investigate, drill, and collect samples of water ice. When we bring the ice up into the sun, it, uh, it evaporates very quickly and uh, we'll measure what comes off of that. And it's mostly ice, but there's a lot of things in there. So it, uh, it tells us uh, a lot of science about the moon, about what's built up there. This is NASA's first robotic moon rover. Instead of astronauts, drivers will be navigating it from a building on the Ames campus. Sometimes the sun goes down on the moon and we'll have to park the rover and put it in a hibernation mode and uh, hope it stays warm enough to survive and turn back on when the sun comes back up. We have a range of conditions we've been trying to design for and expect, and uh, we won't really know until we land on the moon and, and drive on the surface. Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren said support for space programs is bipartisan. It's really the beginning of mankind moving out into space. The rover will launch in late 2024 and will remain on the moon. It will have about six months of operations. Reporting inside NASA Ames Research Center, Lauren Martinez, ABC 7 News.